all right welcome back guys uh, in this video we'll be talking a little bit about loops and all that kind of stuff and how you can use that to your advantage so in this song we as you can see uh, there's already loops pretty set before because i recorded on the wrong song <laughs> my bad so uh, i'm pretty sure you already know the song uh, by uh, young sharuk called tesar i guess i don't know what that song is but it's a pretty well known song Still lush, my name i'm going to forward it i'm going to forward 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 all right so it's a very short song it's just like two and a half minutes of a song so uh, it's pretty easy you can if it's like a two and a half minute song i usually play the whole song it's usually you can play the whole song and now first thing first i have to set the tempo uh, if it's 95 you can so, suppose the song is playing out so yeah, it's yeah, going to So as you can hear, it has a very empty space over here in the song, which I can layer with this song. So and then uh, we heard the little section of the drop over here, or the semi outro, the chorus of the song, and then over here, it has this. And then again, the loop is again. So we have like at least four bars, I think. Like, I think it's four bars of a loop. Uh, intro, four bars of a yes, and then the vocal starts. Sorry, the verse starts. Yeah, it's it's the same thing. All right, so let's go back and let's put a loop over here. So I'm gonna put it for eight beats. And loop. Eight beat loop. And now what we're gonna do is it's very simple. There are multiple ways of doing this again. Okay, so you can start putting it over from here itself. When the chorus of this song is gonna come, I can layer it with this one. So how it sound is gonna sound is first we'll get the blow of the come. Chabi sir. And then. You can see it slowly coming in the background. And exit the loop. We can put a loop over here as well. This is one way of doing it, or you can just you know, uh, you could have just pulled the volume down before the verse of the song came. You could have just you know, you can just pull it down. Second way of doing it is uh, again, let's go back a little bit. You can completely go to the outro like the song, and then put the volume up. Same thing, uh, and three, two, one. You'll have to be quick with beat matching. And so you can smoothly do the transition and go. Like you have to learn to uh, understand the melodic loops of a song, and understand how many uh, beats you have to put that loop. Uh, if you put like, for example, if I put it for like only uh. four beats. Uh, it would have, would have sounded a little odd. Uh, Doesn't give the same feeling of eight beat. If I put eight beats. Uh, sounds so good, right? Uh, And if I would have put uh, like for like sixteen beats, then also it would have sounded odd. But observe here. So uh, over here there was a car. And then it got cut, right? Yeah, we wouldn't want that kind of thing, so we can just put shorter one. Eight bars, sorry, eight beats, and that should be enough. And you can layer it, like, and also most importantly, if you observe, these are not in similar keys. Uh, if any you're mixing commercial music, uh, it's not really mandatory to, uh, you know, mix in key. It's more about keeping the vibe going and the energy flowing. So even though they are in a very different key, this is like a minor key and this is like a major key. But they are e, e, this is E flat minor and this is like E major, uh, but still it's it doesn't really matter. It's all about how you layer the song and how you mix and do the transition. So uh, until until unless you have a proper understanding of your songs, it's going to be a little difficult. So like I said, you can start this uh, the same this for chords which was like this ah. loop. You can start this loop either from you know when I put a C marker here, right, the last section of the song. Ah. Yeah, you can start from here, or you can just continue it till here and then start from here also. This is like the outro. So if you hear, there's nothing much, just a drum beat, just a drum beat. So you can layer them together as well. But this is again a little too much of a stretch when you're mixing live, I guess. So you can do it something like this as well. Little bit more behind. And 
20,000 fans on my lawn I can never do no wrong Yeah, world in my palms Knew I was the greatest all along Yeah, I feel like Shah Rukh Khan Yeah, I feel like Shah Rukh Khan 20,000 fans on my lawn I can never do no wrong Running off from Bombay to Milan See me when you turn your TV on Yeah, I feel like Shah Rukh Khan Abzal, Abzal, I'm gonna do this Come put chizah did you feel like it was a different song all right even though they were in a very different key and a lot of different things were different still we were able to use looping to our advantage and mix in and out of the songs so understand your music simply you know even though these are all original songs uh, remixes are pretty easier to mix but uh, originals are little might you might learn to have to understand when to use your loops and how to use your loops and how much amount of loop should be you be using okay so i hope this helps and if you want to learn more about this obviously you have to join our dj classes we are in hyderabad as well as in online i mean on zoom classes and yes uh you can join any time and we do one on one training only not like a group or batch training so one hour or whatever time it's going to be it's going to be completely focusing on you hope you enjoyed this and if you have any more songs you want me to mix and show you guys any two songs or three songs just drop comment down below and we will get to you until then take care see you oh yeah by the way like share comment and